All right, we are in Union, New Jersey, and I am going to Amazing Heroes, a little comic shop downtown. And it looks like a cool downtown here, right? The little holiday stickers, they, the uh, holiday displays they have up. And it looks busy here, right? Got a lot of traffic, a lot of foot traffic. Kind of a cool downtown. So I've been in here once before, but I haven't been here in a while. So maybe I'll go in here, check it out, grab some new books, and uh, we'll see what they got, all right? Let's go. All right, we got a little history here downtown. We got British troops marched along Vauxhall Road in 1780. A little American Revolution history here in downtown. And UPS is here. They are delivering the comics. There is a delivery taking place. Here's the money shot of our hero, Amazing Heroes. Look at this shot, everybody. All right, and let's check it out the uh, front of the store here. And it looks like someone is coming out. Oh, it's UPS. They just delivered the books. Fresh off the presses. Let's go inside, check it out. Here we go. Hi. This is a nice sized store. Look at the size of this place. And these boxes are getting very popular. These are short boxes with your favorite uh, characters on them. Getting very trendy. You pay a little extra and you get the uh, fancy box. All right, we got a bunch of statues and statuettes. <laughs> right, they're pretty well stocked here. And it looks like they have a lot of sports memorabilia also. A lot of cards and jerseys and stuff. Let's see what's on this comics rack here. Oh, we got a bunch of reprints. We got Dazzler, Ultimate 4R4, the uh, Faximil. House of Secrets reprint for a Swamp Thing. All right, cool. And uh, that new uh, She Venom, True Believers. She Venom, She Venom, True Believers. And we got all the new books you can want, right? All the Marvel and DC releases. And we got some back issues here behind the racks. All right, we got a little Thanos action. Infinity Gauntlet from the 80s, the original miniseries. G.I. Joe, Real American Hero. These are the real ones. These covers are awesome, right? On these uh, 80s uh, G.I. Joes. All right, I think I saw... Uh, I have some Batman stuff here, too. Brightest Day was in there, too, for DC. Darkest Night uh, miniseries. All right, here's the Rebirth, the new uh, Batman. Is this the, uh... Was that the button? Or the price? One of those? All right, and there's that Hulk there. There's that, uh... A righteous, uh... Thirst for Vengeance. Refrigerator full of heads. Instead of, uh... Basket full of heads, I guess, is the uh, sequel. And that Scout's Honor's there was that last issue, number five. We got some Bronze Age X-Men up there, right? I should have focused in on the pricing, right? See how much the uh, Bronze Age X-Men are going for. Oh, Silver City's supposed to be good, right? And we got Gunslinger Spawn. Spawn's got a bunch of titles out now, right? All right, they got a bunch of indies, too. That Shadow uh, Man is supposed to be awesome. The uh, Colin Bunn, I had that. It's, it's pretty great. Let me see if they have an early issue. Is there earlier issues behind it? Oh, no. No, it's just uh, the last issue. I already have that. All right, here's some... Uh, they have some manga. And they have... Uh, oh, look at all the uh, trade paperbacks. And the... Uh, oh, here we go. Court of Owls Mask. Yes! Oh, they put a lot of money into this place. All these, they are really stocked here with trades. Look at all of these books. Ooh. Crime does not pay. Little, uh, this is pre, uh, EC Comics, right? This is even before them. They totally copied a lot of the, uh, artwork, right? The design and everything, the layout. 
And even the uh, Crypt Keeper is a copy of Mr. Crime, right? The was a... Uh... Oh, look at this creepy book. It's like a legacy edition, a nice hardcover, a beautiful print. Look at this. They are well stocked here. Crime does not pay. They probably have EC books here too somewhere. Little Peanuts action. Yeah, when they have this uh, pre-code horror, and when they have Crime Does Not Pay, then you know they're putting a lot of effort and money into uh, stocking their store with uh, trade paperbacks. A lot of stores don't put that effort into it. It's just the big sellers. <laughs> oh, Golden Age of DC. Look at that. Is that mouse? If you're at Art House, a little Invincible action. <laughs> These things got to be selling great, right? Because that show is awesome on Prime. Oh, here's a little Star Wars Omnibus. Nice uh, soft cover. A little trade. Oh, man. Sin City. Oh, here we go. Got some EC here. Vault of Horror. Tales in the Crypt. Oh, look. They are stocked. Usually a lot of places are sold out of this stuff. But they have it available here to look through. Look it over. See if you want to buy it. Uh, a little Yusagi Ujimbo. Very cool, man. Vampirella. What do you guys think of these uh, long comic book bins? These plastic things? You were going over the top? Or what? Alright, there's some more statues in the back. Yes! Yeah! Mighty Joe Namath, baby! Proof. They were great. They were great. Alright, and then we have some... Oh, look at these treasury editions up there. Look at this. The treasury uh, books. They're like magazine style. Reprints. Marvel and uh, looks like they got some DC also. That Superman 78 is awesome. All these new books here. All right, I'm going to pick up a couple books. Stay with me until the end, and I'll show you what I got. I'll show you the little haul, the books that I grabbed, if you're interested. I'm not going to grab too many because uh, I have a... Uh, I went to a comic book store the other day, so I have a lot of the new issues. But I'll grab, like, uh, a couple of them here. And they have nice traffic in here. People coming in out of the store. So they're doing pretty well. All right, and I grab the uh, Primordial and that Mark Millar new series that's out. Was it Magic the Gathering? Uh, Mark Miller, Mark Millar? I don't know. Uh, but he's got a new uh, comic book out with that. Also, that Spice book is out also, right? And I haven't heard much about it. That thing got good re uh, reviews, right? Silver City's supposed to be pretty cool, too. I'll check it out. First issue, see if I want to jump on. All right, and then we have... Uh, look at these Exo Manowar. Valiant has been putting all the titles out again, but I haven't heard anything about it. Very quiet. Have they been good at all, or is it like the 90s stuff? that, Or, you know? Or are they stumbling a little bit here? Yes, a little Doom Patrol. The Silver Age, Volume 1. This is the good stuff, right? It's really like uh, surrealistic and art house. Oh, here's some Bloom County. Here's the bed. We're back at the front again. And I'll bring these to the front and I'll pay for my books. Nice little store, man. Let us know if this is your uh, LCS. If I missed anything in the comments below. And uh, let me sh go to the counter, buy my books. And I'll show you my little haul here. I'll show you the books I grabbed, all right? Oh, look at you. Hello. Uh, Superman 78 number one I, it's a variant cover I already have this but it's such an awesome cover and I like this Venditti run he's doing a good job and the Devil's Reign I guess I should grab it I don't know the Chips of Zardaski it's supposed to be a big event maybe I'll just peek at it to see what's, what's going on here I'm not into the events lately I just like to follow the uh, regular titles but I love the uh, red binding on the uh, cover that looks kind of cool and then I grabbed that Mark Millar book uh, Magic Gathering. This is Volume 2. Issue number 1, Volume 2. Um, so he's still going on this run here. Oh, a little accident there. And A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance. The uh, Rick Remender book is supposed to be great. So I grab that, check it out. And it's all in red, right? For Rage and Vengeance. Ah! Alright, and then I grab two more books here. I got the... Um, Silver City, number one, and Primordial. I've been following this, uh, but they had another number one in there. So I thought I'd grab another one. I have one, two, and three. All right, so thanks so much for watching. Let me know if I missed anything. 
in the comments below. And like and subscribe. Go to my uh, channel page and check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.